get your posture organized here. Your feet are on the floor, your knees are bent. You're open across your chest. Your spine is long. The crown of your head, the top of your head is lifted up to the ceiling. And then just settle into this seat here. And if you like, you can close your eyes or gaze down at the floor. And just begin to bring your attention into your breath, deepening your breath, moving your breath from the top of your chest into the bottom of your chest, and then perhaps even down into the bottom of your belly, really filling up your belly with air, expanding across the bottom of your belly, taking up all the space that you need to take up to really find those deep belly breaths. And then as you exhale, exhaling all the way out. So from the very bottom of your belly, all the way up into your chest, all the way up into your throat, and out of your nose or your mouth. It doesn't matter if you're breathing in and out of your nose or your mouth. That's whatever your personal preference is. So just bring your attention to your breath here, coming in and out of your body. Your posture is still organized. Your feet are still firmly planted on the ground. Your spine is long, the crown of your head is lifted up to the ceiling. And then when you are ready, bring your right ear over to your right shoulder. And just pause there, noticing the sensation along that left side of your body. If you like the sensation and you'd like a little bit more, you have a couple options here. You can take that left arm and just let it hang along your left side. You'll notice that gives a little weight and a little pull there to that side. If that feels good and you'd like a little bit more sensation, you can take that right hand, place it on the side of your head ever so gently. You're not pressing down, you're just placing, just giving a little bit more sensation to the side of your neck. Taking those deep belly breaths here, Finding the oxygen coming in and out of your body. As you relax into this stretch, you find yourself in the place of balance between effort and ease. And then on your next inhale, if your hand is up on your head, you can take it down, bring your head up to center. You can bring those hands back to your thighs or your knees if that's comfortable and then bring your left ear over to your left shoulder. Your same options are available here, but please remember that this side is different. You're gonna have different sensations in this side of your body. So the option that you took on the other side may not apply, but you may bring that right arm down, letting it dangle, adding a little bit of weight to that side. You can also Lift up that left hand, placing it on the side of your head, adding a stretch in your neck here. Breathing into this stretch, using your breath to really find that place of balance between where you're efforting and where you're easing. Especially when we practice yoga, we can have, um, we can use yoga as a tool to really find that place of balance. And then you can bring that arm back down if it's lifted, bring your head back up to center. And then we're gonna take the tip of our nose and we're gonna draw some circles with the tip of our nose. You may find that closing your eyes here is more comfortable so you don't get uh, dizzy. So as you draw those circles with the tip of your nose, they can stay small. If your neck feels good and you'd like to make those circles get bigger, you're welcome to do so. You decide where your edge is here and how big those circles get. And then the next time you pass through center, just pause with the tip of your nose in the air and reverse directions of your circles. If your circles were getting bigger before, you can start at the big circles and come into smaller and smaller circles, making your way back to stillness. If your eyes are closed, you can blink them open and then bring your fingers up to rest on the fronts of your shoulders. 
Taking a moment here to notice your posture. Are you rooted down in your sits bones? Are all four corners of your feet still making contact with the floor? If that is the case, then go ahead and start rotating your elbows towards the front of your space. We will reverse directions in a moment. So just take the time here. The circles can be really big, like I'm showing you here, or they can be smaller and lower to the sides of your body. Your shoulders will tell you what feels good. And I always say in yoga, sometimes some crackling or um, that sense of stretch feels good. But anytime you get a zing or a pain, just back off. The next time you're through center, pause, and then the reverse the direction of those shoulder rolls. All the while, paying attention to those deep belly breaths, remembering that yoga, the practice of yoga, the practice of these physical things that we do in yoga, are just one part of yoga, and then come back to center, letting your hands come down to your knees.